seems like it goes to about 12 minutes and 50 seconds something then you have to restart the movie um, they totally designed the whole thing in a such a way that you would move in and then it would be like beyond crazy beyond sick shit and the Russian agent so-called Russian agent would be always portrayed as a whore they would use other ladies and all kinds of stuff to convince me that that is the case engaging in sexual activities and all kinds of shit um, basically creating what are known as exit points so that Trump would get what he wanted to get basically me out of Poland uh, what they created themselves uh, God knows how many uh, exit points they created themselves uh, so many exit points that is a real miracle that I'm still here if you would somehow it was always if you would somehow if you would somehow but the point is that this shit is not if you would somehow the point here is that this is getting more and more and more and more violent it seems like that it's nothing really that is not possible here it seems to me like a, some kind of a wonderland like a Alice of Wonderland except that I would call one like Donald Trump is Wonderland I don't even want to use the expression based on how I see this Foucaultlandia like this because it's it's like anything goes basically anything goes those that write the resume like I said according to the gas bottle that one the gas bottle um, the psychologist had this one going completely out of business already like on the last it should be the last month uh, in November on a 27 I should be already without the gas uh, it's now barely working but it's still working but they are too late and it's probably because I have mentioned this issue on one of the videos I have a lot of videos that I have to release and they probably assume that this is actually surveillance by some other party that is investigating or something like this they are actually afraid when you disclose something that's going to happen they actually become afraid and they do not get into that kind of scenario they stop there and they continue with other stuff so that means that something might be going on there must be something something else they are afraid of or something like this but other than that they just continue to melt down the whole scenario and so oh the, uh, the gas bottle will last you for about three months it's a, it's about 11 kilos of gas but like i said that when I, when I would when i would come here i would shower myself with the ice water um i don't know how much you see it everything possible to save myself the money uh, cripple myself here at the local place the day before yesterday I have an answer to inspector over there from Lodge concerning the issue of the workplace because she uh, determined that I have used I don't know 12 days of vacations uh, and the employer the only thing the employer did was uh, actually 13 days of vacations the only thing the employer did was he she um, he uh, did whatever was uh, in accordance with uh, contracts according to the law and stuff like this it seems like they somehow did not found uh, the employer guilty yet or something like this or maybe she brought this to my attention I have to say that according to the law I was told also by the people here that it's actually even impossible somebody could use 13 days and more of vacation uh, since you only get about two days per week of vacation uh, so in three months that would maximum would be like six days of vacation that I could use but then again you know it's all kinds of stuff I, I have no idea about it this is not even the stuff that I complain about I have complained about completely other physically crippling related issues in this case um, I complain about the stuff that in best way I was explained by an American who was involved and that was actually a black American that was 
a black Hispanic American who was very concerned for me in this case. It's quite funny. They had one black lady that was concerned for me and it was this black guy um, mixed who was concerned for me. And he was doing the business. They had Americans that would come and evaluate. Not everybody was bad. There was a lot of people that wanted to help. The problem is that the normal ones, when they saw this shit, this was so crazy, this was so twisted, this was so evil, that they became afraid of it. They would not dare to even come close anywhere. They would just rather to stay in the background and, you know, I'd rather stay alive. Because Donald Trump cleaned up quite a few decent Americans over there throughout his presidency. There was all kinds of stuff that went on. And people know when it's dangerous, when it's not health-wise advisable to relate, to get involved into something. Uh, it's just extremely dangerous terrorist, this individual, a criminal that used me, American citizen, as a slave, as less than a slave, literally, for his own gains, for his own profits, for his own financial agenda. That's about the best definition of Donald Trump. See, oh, the messenger life is going to stop. Something goes on. Like I said, this is a completely modified software. Most likely this stuff is Bluetooth related, again, type of stuff. Uh, and when it comes to this place here, this place here, the neighbor did everything possible to ruin me, literally. And so the possibility that the transmission was even changed the second day when I brought the car here exists. And this is exactly what an individual gestured me yesterday when he came uh, to the gas station. A mechanic who was involved in MK Ultra gestured me just leave the car there and go back. Transmission is ruined. Everything is ruined. Uh, and even if that would not be ruined, they advised me that I should just start to record, video record parts of the car because even the parts of the car are going to be changed and stuff like this. Oh, it, it makes you really, really, really wonder about the whole thing. It is just like completely, completely insane situation that goes on. But really the most amazing part is that the only, the only thing you can do is you can complain on, a, on your blog, on your news site about it, and nothing ever takes place. There's nobody that, that takes... Uh, any kind of responsibility of any kind related to this stuff. They have gone as far as implanting chickens with, I think, brain electrodes. And this is at least what they have suggested under MK Ultra. They would literally uh, imitate me under MK Ultra. I have to stop because it's going to end here. And they would literally imitate me under MK Ultra as chicken. Co -co -co -co, stuff like this. And make no mistake, when I would be doing stuff like this, my work, uh, if I was talking or something like this, the only thing I would hear all of a sudden would be a chicken that would go completely crazy here. That would start. Da -da 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 -da. This is crazy, crazy place, this place. This place is a nut place. Uh, they suggested for a dog that I have seen that when I would come, this dog would just run to me and wanted to hug me and was completely crazy, completely insane about me that I'm going to be like this dog for which they have suggested they have implanted with electrodes. I have indicated on a new site, a photo which photos of the lodge properties which demonstrates like like this this type of um, uh, photos like this except that there is no doubt that those were done by the cameras what you see in front of you was demonstrated to me make no mistake not in 2017 but already in 2015 very possibly even in 2013. Just like you see it right there. 
In fact, the person who told me about this stuff, I will not disclose who that was, observed the very same things, and it's why they have placed this online on OLAX already in 2015, for sure, if not already in 2013. Have observed this already in London. There were some also people from London present when the person told me about this. Uh, and this was the reason why this kind of listings even appeared uh, in Lodz, in Poland. Okay, But I don't have to be very explicit on what exactly this kind of picture represents, what kind of position, what a camera is positioned, and stuff like this. Uh, it's something you have to pay attention, uh, basically yourself. I just want to explain to you that in 2013, 2015, or 2017, I was back in Slovenia in not a good situation at all. Um, I was handled like an animal over there. Under no circumstances would I think about going on the internet and see what the rooms look like in Wurch in Poland or in London. So where exactly would I know or pay attention to the stuff that I have just stated right now? Um, well, I, like I said, this is about MK Ultra for fact that this was the case. So stuff I'm talking about, this lays additional proofs about stuff I'm talking about. And I am talking about social engineers here, make no mistake about it. People involved in this case were social engineers one way or the other. The whole thing, the whole operation was surveillance by the social engineers. Whenever I was subjected to ordinary people, they allowed ordinary people to meddle, uh, do things, whichever way they wanted to do, these ordinary people were observed when handling me. Some of these people, if they did not handle me properly, were actually even destroyed by the social engineers. This was a very closely supervised operation uh, by some people that do the business like this. What kind of cameras? I have no clue. It could be, I have no idea. It would be, it could be a spy camera or could be something that individual actually knows. I uh, might even agree to be monitored or something like this. Something I was also prompted, gestured by some people to do. About the place where I'm in, I did this myself. This is like a black, you, that you see here, it's like, I did like a black dot here. Stuff that you see. And I did pretty much on a few other locations. However, they play with this shit under MK Ultra so much that what you see here, I did not even have to do it. This is what Ukrainian gentleman who was involved in MK Ultra did. He did. He marked the ends of uh, these things white, according to him, because this is a bathroom. This is where you take a shower, the shower room. So they would not watch, basically. Uh, what goes on because under MK Ultra, when MK Ultra was taking place, they were exactly using what you see right there. In fact, in Grotniki, I might have eventually even recorded something that the tip from, from the plug, see the tip, this thing here, might have been that uh, a camera was inserted inside. What kind of a functionality exactly did the neighbor serve here along with um, landlord? This yet you have to see it. It was not only about the gas uh, and property destruction, vandalizement of clothing and stuff like this. It was also all kinds of other stuff that went on. Uh, something that yet I have to create the video. Uh, but the main task this individual had was basically for me to purchase a heating material at least like five meters of 
uh, wood cubic meters is what I was told. One ton of coal. Um, and then I, again, I was told that's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough and so on. But if you don't buy by next previous month, that was uh, one ton of this material. If you don't buy so much and so much, you are already in trouble. You are in trouble. We will destroy you and I don't know what. Well, the thing about it is that he did this by creating, cutting a boot here in front of the home that he's going to be reminding me how I have to do it, how you have to do it, you have to do it now. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. You buy, you do all this stuff, and then they destroy you and you have to move out anyways. Uh, and when I said financially destroy you, break you down completely, cripple you and whip you, whack you, take the money from you, destroy you completely. That's exactly what I had in my mind. This is, I think it happened to other people before me. Um, people left the stuff here and, and ran out of this place here. It looks such a beautiful place, such a wonderful place, everything. Uh, and believe me, I would stay here if it wasn't for this here that go that went on. Uh, but when you think about the stuff like this, yeah, you better not be around. It's not about the place so much, but it's about other issues involving this stuff. Too much stuff when it comes to this place here, when it comes to this location, just too much to talk about. This was completely different than Lochka. This was nobody got here in the face and literally pushing you with his forehead threatening that he's gonna punch you i don't know what uh nobody did this kind of stuff here but it were completely different kind of issues involved every place had a totally different issues involved the place where i'm going right now is the place where the whole building is heated it's actually the whole building Already on a corridor, it's so hot building, it's heated building, that it's, it's almost kind of a scary, that's how hot that place is. Never mind when you go inside of the place. Um, so we go basically from something like this into something completely different environment. We are changing the environments and so on. All kinds of stuff like that. Uh, look, I don't mind this kind of stuff, but uh, when it comes to certain issues, in which I'm not gonna say not even safety is involved. If I show you, definitely if I show you what, what the doors look like here, uh, you can walk here now not really. Um, the key is just a decoration here. Now, what I do is something else to protect myself because I had people during the sleep already walking inside here. It was stuff like this. It happened twice, actually. Um, it's not even about a safety precautions issues, but it's related to the issues that, hmm, I don't know, the lady mentioned yesterday, the day before yesterday in the library, the right to smile and stuff like this, uh, she was doing some kind of a project, I guess, for somebody, something like this, concerning the human rights like this. Boy, it's about the issues whether you have the right to own the bicycle and a car, uh, pay for it. It's more about that kind of issues, if not what this black guy that was from the US who evaluated, who was a professional mover. He was a helper, a furniture uh, mover helper and they make typically from about 60 to 80 dollars and they make more than that uh, that told me he said well he said when i signed the contract um i don't actually end up with an injury that would match the injury that you will suffer from it's an injury uh it's bad 
Um, it's the risk that I take because of the money that I make. I typically they take this kind of job if I want to purchase some kind of property house like this. I do it for a year and then I have a problem. Then I end up with some kind of a health problem related to the spine or something like this. I did this. This is a professional who knows what he was talking about, who, who was doing this kind of stuff. And they had people like this evaluate actually what I would go through. Um, and yeah, in the US, they get paid really, really well for this kind of stuff. Uh, here, however, and it's not even about this. I didn't get paid $60, $80 an hour like I responded to the lady over there in Lodge uh, when I accepted something that crippled me within the three months and equals somewhat to the injuries that people suffer professional I did exactly as instructed to do professional furniture movers within the year um, that you would get two euros uh, actually three euros it's what I got paid per hour I got three euros paid per hour not even 50 60 80 dollars an hour like they get and it takes them a year to get to this type of injury it's not even about this boy it's about you're having the right to even own a transportation of any kind it's about your right of having even the transportation owing the in transportation where you are basically crippled it's what's all about because the stuff that i have spoken about boy this can be done to a new car it does not have to be an old car it does not have to be a new car and this is a very good used car right here this is a very very good used car right here it's just the problem is that um if you want to change the transmission and the mk ultra they did talk about they're going to literally go and change the transmission and stuff like this either way it's going to be if you would leave the car where the gentleman gestured yesterday at the gas station when you're going to come back the car is going to be without a lot of things if you will somehow drive home they're going to do something about it anyways so it will look that transmission uh, is ruined and this and that and they blend this with it with whatever they have blended now the fact of the matter is that if something was done most likely was already done the second day and they did let me know according exactly to mk ultra scenario they would the only thing you would hear is going to be the car outside it's going to be boom 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 like this they're going to be doing like this to you uh, reminding you that something was done with your car and the next thing is going to be the stick shift is going to be turning around and stuff like that um it's about completely insane issues for which seems like nobody is held responsible for it so it's about some kind of a Fukulandia where anything is possible it's a dreamland of the criminal donald trump like a magical place where anything goes where everything is allowed and according to democracies people have the right to express their views their opinions if german agent russian agent german agent russian agent people dead left and right are not issues bad enough uh, then for the sake of this so-called democracies or whatever is out there that they claim they exist um, how far is this stuff gonna go um, I gotta ask myself the purpose of my being here what exactly is this if you are mistreated like this you get literally crippled and you don't have literally rights of any kind anything can be done to you whatever you Whatever is that you do basically is destroyed to you. Uh, I walked around with the socks in my bag. I walked around with the stuff, with the cables and stuff like this to preserve them from being destroyed. 
and now with the vehicle I cannot put one in the pocket. I really don't know what the hell is going on here, and it's really nobody that's held responsible for absolutely anything. And it makes me wonder, as a male, as a, as, a, as somebody who was ambitious enough to go to the U.S. at age 23rd, so he could buy himself a home, who have well exceeded, despite difficulties, impossible circumstances in the U.S. at several points. They have stolen, they have ripped money from me and from the New York Stock Market Exchange and through the forced unemployment and stuff like this i mean this was a literally ripping apart individual in the u.s stealing going literally inside of his pocket grabbing the money pulling one out i really gotta ask myself at this point in time where what what is this where is this where is this for somebody some some ambitious person like myself where the hell does this leave me in my life? I mean, where is this? What exactly have I accomplished in my life? And where the hell is this going to go? I see this lady posing with the children. Sure, it's a big thing, but taking away ambitious from an individual, presenting him basically issues that are non-appealing. Like they try to push me like Fiat Palio, let's say. Not Fiat Stylo, let's say, but Fiat Palio. That's what they brainwash under MK Ultra. That's a great car. And you know why it's great? Because they're going to have low mileages. They're going to have very low kilometers. Uh, they're going to be from the first owners. And that's exactly the car you should go and buy because it's going to be, it's not beautiful, but it will be very, very reliable. And so even when you find the car that is good and they do the, do the stuff like this, and when I'm thinking about where the hell does this leave me with, I mean, I don't even get to choose what the hell I want. Basically, they go as far as modifying your taste through the violence, through this kind of stuff like this. So that basically leaves me at age 48 with what? I mean, with some ladies posing over there, going around back and forth with the children. Sure, it's a big thing. But why to take from the human being his sanity? Yesterday, actually, when I drove back, I ended up in a in a in a in an intersection on the wrong side of the road. At the job that I did, if somebody would watch that stuff, the procedures itself, the way they require me to do the stuff, they created such a disturbing environment that I did some stuff that if somebody would see, would think this guy. Not, not that he doesn't remember the stuff. This, this guy is completely nuts. Recorded on November the 6th, 2019. Um, Fiat Palio. Wow. Now, that was one of the most dangerous issues, along with other issues. So, to tell you the truth, I don't know what was more dangerous in this whole thing. But Fiat Palio, I'm not talking about a newer model. I'm talking about older models. They were really, really non-appealing. Uh, the car market, evaluation of the car market, evaluation of my taste for all other generation of vehicles that appear in Poland was done thoroughly. They would not only evaluate which cars appeal to me, but they also evaluated and have demanded the confirmation from me as well to express um, repulsion for those cars and one of the cars like this just happened to be Fiat Palio once they analyzed my taste for the vehicles what they would do is they would start to push that issue down the throat literally uh, like you would say maybe to the point that you would almost throw up and but they suggested about all other vehicles no good they have for every car for every type of taste they had a different kind of issues involved that these actually these will be the car i have to buy now from all this mess they have created about these vehicles you would not remember you don't remember everything you don't remember everything and you start to remember things when you when you touch certain issue 
And so you see, this is how the preferentials are made. They evaluate you, what it appeals, and also what it doesn't appeal to you under MKUltra. And then according to what it does not appeal, Fiat Palio was introduced to me under MKUltra, so the brainwash is gonna be offered to you like a secret help. Because they played dirty side and they played the side that supposedly would be the side that would assist me. But the one who did this all along was peace. That is a political party of Kaczynski. So now, either way you look, whether you would be assisted or you would be, if you want me to use that other word, uh, you would be subjected to the same political ambitions. The ambitions that were more than willing to throw you to toy, spit you out of the Poland. Eventually, ambitions that would take so far these issues that whatever you have committed yourself, you would give to the people for the price of literally crippling yourself. Because I know what's going to happen with a job once I accept one. What's going to happen with me? To reject everything including the children, including everything you love about the life through the issues like not only the car I have right now, but also issue known as Fiat Palio. Okay, and so as much as the newer models of this very particular model somewhat appeal to me, are acceptable, this older model was not. So they would not push down, let's say, what I express on the MK Ultra is my preference would be like Fiat style also I wanted, that I was crazy about, and let's say, uh, even Typo and Punto, whatever it was, I would go for it. But they presented me exactly because this car is so ugly, people don't want to buy one, and we already have an agreement with a dealer, and if that one is not gonna be, we already found the first owner um, in the lodge that he's gonna sell you the car. And they brought me to the car and they demonstrated to me the car. It's gonna be rusty, this and that, but the car is uh, really in a good shape with a, like a super, super low kilometer. My car has got 145,000 kilometers. It's about 90,000 miles with a Golf engine, 1.6. That's a really good, really good car, actually. And the Fiat Palio, they were trying to introduce me. You're, you're talking about at least two cars with less than, I think, 100,000 kilometers. It's about like 60,000 miles or something like that. No, they were not real miles. I know when I see the car already from the photo like this, that, that the mileage was turned around. But the point here was they knew that I'm not going to buy one. Uh, regardless, even in the car, what have I to know? Because it's to me, it's so unappealing car, personally. The point here is was something else. And the point here is was for me to say, "Wow!" And that's what they brainwashed with. But they had other issues they would use in order for my brain to associate itself with Fiat Palio. And they did. They did. They're gonna push you. They're gonna push you cars. You know, now the good side come. Now is the goodie. Now is a good person talking to you from MK Ultra. What they're gonna do to you? How bad things they're gonna do to you? This is how they do it. They're gonna push you cars. They're gonna push you women that you would not want and stuff like this. And what happened was they anticipated in this case that I would come up with idea to actually turn against psychologists I'm very much interested still. So it's a very appealing, beautiful woman to me, but with such issues that you would, it doesn't really matter when you start to associate these things, you know, even the children, you know, that all the environment, they have here zoo out of this, you don't understand. Yeah, it's all kinds of stuff that you could associate in your head that you would say, oh no, you know, uh, I don't want, I don't want, 
on the other side of the border, it's a, it's a greener grass. Uh, these things are happening to me, and before you know you would really end up running somewhere. Um, basically committing the biggest mistake of your lifetime. Uh, this is the art of the deal of Donald Trump. This was not a test. This is just the way to totally destroy individual. A greener grass was related to um, crazy stuff that how I should purchase the house near German border, how I should move very close to the German border. It included the stuff when I was brought across the border by the Germans that would grab the backpack under MK Ultra whatever backpack that was and they would throw one you know from one of the staff members whatever and they would throw one uh in a it was completely wet destroyed the bottom was falling apart everything was falling apart and what are we going to do now and this and that uh, uh, you are in germany what are we going to do now, this and that? On other occasions, they had Americans gesturing about a car, purchased the car across the border in the Germany. It's so cheaper, it's so much cheaper, is this and that. Uh, we're going to have a car, even car ready for you waiting in the Germany. You're going to go, the car is going to be waiting for you in the Germany. It's going to be a good car for little money. It was all kinds of stuff. Look, they, it was all kinds of stuff they have used. Once you collect enough money for the rent, for one month rent, you just get yourself a bus ticket and you go on. A move across the German border always resulted in success. Uh, it always was a good thing. Uh, moving across the border uh, was just, under MK Ultra was just a fast way, uh, a fast track to success. Um, as soon as you got across the border, you get yourself this is what they were doing. They were buying themselves whatever. You know, they wanted me to see this as reality. Uh, buying yourself a used car and surviving in that car at a local company, basically, where you would get the job, but you would so quickly collect the money that before you know, uh, it would, everything would be normal. It would be normal. Everything would be normal. The tablet, the tablet that I have, the tablet for this tablet I purchased in hmm, the tablet I have purchased inside of the um, what are the shops already uh, like a thrift store like um, it's a used one I have purchased I purchased the used one I was actually discouraged from buying a new one inside of the store literally the one with the guarantee they discouraged me uh and they pushed forward used tablet for which basically they claimed that will belong to psychologist and that i should just purchase that one because it belongs to her across the german border that shit tablet that no good tablet um they had a tablet in their hands they had a tablet in their hands. This is how far the whole thing was calculated. What you, what you, do, and what are you going to do with a tablet? And I have never had a tablet in my life, but under MK Ultra, when subject me in Germany to this practice, demonstrate me the tablet, uh, it was appealing thing to me. I did not even know the tablet. The only thing I saw was a tablet electronic device i never wanted to have a tablet on the first place i want to have a computer and phone but under mk ultra they use a tablet the whole scenario they handle the whole procedure what you're going to do with a tablet well you throw this away we have a new one here you get a good one you throw this garbage away and you get a good one they have gone through absolutely every millimeter of MK Ultra brainwash. They, it was nothing they would not cover across the border where the grass supposedly was greener. Uh, the tablet, it's actually a really good tablet. It's 
good as new, this tablet. This is not a bad tablet. Uh, and uh, the tablet was actually purchased. I purchased one from her friends. Literally, they have the store here is Gersh. What I also can prove because they were involved in MK Ultra and about this particular couple uh, who actually got paid vacation across the border, thanks to me, their first vacation. Uh, this is how far this memory goes. Um, it's a beautiful couple, really beautiful couple. And so what I did was uh, I saw this couple, I saw this thing and I reminded myself of this stuff I went ahead and I purchased from them. And I can tell you nothing wrong with a, a tablet. Tablet is a really good tablet and I got one for a really, really good price. Uh, but across the border by those who learn about absolutely everything about the Donald Trump is out of the deal, uh, grass always was greener. Let's just run across the border. What the Pollocks are going to be doing to you, boy? Well, what exactly was so troublesome to Germans about the psychologist? Uh, the answer is very, very simple. Her physique, her look. The Gauleiter, the Gauleiter Herr Kaczynski, pledged himself to Merkel that Poland will be viewed on international stage in front of the cameras by the people that will a lot match German profiles. So the cleanser, Mr. Kaczynski, uh, was the one who performed a heavy duty job for Frau Merkel, for Berlin, right here. And I know much about German agent, Russian agent, and so on. So it was about the facial features that Germans dictated would want uh, Poland to be seen as. And that actually reminds me of what happens with our people, whether they immigrate to Germany or the US, where they are faster than not. And I can show you the whole documentation what they have done with my names. What kind of a names did in the US, what have they done to my names? What, what did the US, United States of America immigration came up with? How they massacred my name, how they disrespected my name what they have done with my name to have me change my name. What they do is they humiliate to the point that you actually change your name somehow, one way or the other. Once you change your name, it's either you, and definitely if it's not you, it's your children or grandchildren that are subject to what is known as a social engineering genocide. Now, that's diseases, uh, accidents. Uh, you can be sent to the military uh, operation to some place. It is like a million things they do to you to have you disappear, basically. Once you change your name, the only thing that happens is, and people do this shit voluntarily, the only thing is um, you disappear. Any trace about your DNA is basically gone. This basically is exactly how that stuff. Um, meaning that, yeah, if you start to demonstrate people that look like German uh, and are representing certain country, you can actually, it goes really, really parallel along with all other stuff. You can really, really perform successfully a cleanup in that country uh, without the world, without the people even understanding really what's going on. This is called social engineering, folks. I know something little about that stuff. In respect to the Fiat Palio, uh, this here is a Fiat Palio, uh, and it's actually something else that I have just now, uh, Fiat Siena if you like. Fiat Siena, this is, this is basically a Fiat Siena, this here, okay? Now, when you look at this car like this, it does not actually even look that bad. And it's something I have not paid my attention to. I did not pay attention to this stuff. When you look at a car like this, it does actually not even 
look so bad. Uh, it does not look too good here up front, but you can still put up with it. But in the back, which in this photo actually looks good, in the back, the photos, now I understand what this thing was, how far they have gone with it. The photos were taken in a such a way that would, of the, lit, of the listings on the OLX, they were taken in such a way that would make this like, demonstrate this end like this down, like this in an exaggerated way. So this is something I just realized it's really not, I'm going to say, appealing vehicle that you would say like appealing vehicle like a fiat style or something like this bravo and so on uh, but the thing about it is it's also about how you take of the photo so the brainwash part was one thing now if people would go and see these cars online just as i did right now because i went over the idea was for me to take a the idea was for me to right now go uh, and take a photo so you can see what kind of car exactly I'm talking about. This actually is Sienna. The cars I'm talking about did not look like this. It would have, the photo would expose the rear that would look like really rear down like this. It would, it would look like it was more down. And the lights were also not exactly the same thing like this here. They were rusty. The color faded. It was reddish with a faded color and so on. Um, the car that I have seen in person in Luch, what I was brought. Um, another vehicle that Comis was selling, the dealer here in Luch, was related also to the first owner. And I am not going to go into who the owner was, but I think... I might just know who the owner was, where the vehicle was from. So there was a whole bunch of vehicles that I would recognize that I could actually even tell for one vehicle that was sold. Um, was this is Don Scavola? I'm not. I'm not really sure, but it's about. I would say about thirty kilometers from here. Yes. Yes that I think, I'm pretty sure I could actually go and point out even a house of the owner of that vehicle who bought one in the Germany and brought one to Poland, literally. Um, this is the type of vehicles where now from what I see here from the internet when it comes to Fiat Siena, Fiat Palio, this is the same vehicle, one is sedan, the other one is uh, what I'm actually talking about obviously seems to be Siena and we're based on what I see here um, These cars actually do not look so bad They are not really really appealing. I'm gonna tell you that but the way the photos were taken and Thrown on a website on an OLX. They were done in a such a way that they would actually definitely deter you away from purchase what you see here was done in a such a way that would it's also a possibility the photo might have been modified or something like this who knows the photos might have been modified it was done really in a such a way that would um it, it would just really look creepy okay the car looked like the cars were looking like creepy you would not even go into it you would not want to pay much attention to that stuff at all what you would see that stuff uh it's really a definition of something you would not want to have and what i see here these cars are not even so bad looking in reality when i see now on the internet when i go over um not even this model is bad not even this is something that i would say uh it's not acceptable this actually if i knew this that they look that good i would right now i would reconsider the whole thing but i am satisfied with my purchase but what I'm claiming is that the photos that were posted on the OLX were modified. Uh, they were not exactly the photos of the vehicles as you would see one in reality, but they were rather exaggerated. They were rather modified. The ends were rather modified. The whole thing looked like in a such a form as it would, 
is it's going to fell down the whole thing. You would definitely not want to go for that kind of vehicle. I have actually found a vehicle that now I think I know what they have done to it. Um, you can see the car here that does not even look so bad. But if you take away this, if you do a Photoshop and you look at the car like this, the way it looks like, if you would do something like this with the vehicle, it would look like a not good at all. You got to admit that if you would do something like this from behind like this, the car would look like not exactly appealing vehicle. So I think what they did was they photoshopped, they modified, they modified car in a such a way that, that when you would see one online, you would recognize one and you would just drop the thing and go away with it. Uh, it would be like rusty here, rust, and the color would be like it's completely already fading from the sun and so on. So that's what that was all about. So now if you would go see this, this kind of car, this Fiat um, Sienna, uh, you would actually look, uh, you would actually see uh, yeah, not such a bad looking vehicle at all. Not such a bad ve uh, looking vehicle at all. Now, basically the photos were 100% modified. I see another vehicle here. These are actually a very good looking vehicles, very acceptable vehicles. The thing is that what they have done is exactly they've used the angle uh, lens with an angle that distorts the perception about the vehicle. And they have posted this online knowing that I have expressed a total disinterest for the vehicle. So that's exactly basically how that stuff was done. Repeat it. So they have actually developed some kind of idea about my taste. They would not even, if I wouldn't go over and see this stuff, I would not even see basically what I see now, because this is what I see from the internet. This is what I see from other websites, from other cars that I see on the internet. Uh, after seeing this, folks, I came to the conclusion that if I would actually go about and suggest you what I suggested, insisted that this is an ugly looking vehicle, uh, I believe that... I would most likely have people thinking that something is really, really wrong with me. Because these vehicles here, from what I see here, these are actually a good looking vehicles. This is nothing, and I'm going to say absolutely nothing, what OLX, OLX PL demonstrated me as a Fiat Palio, as a Fiat Siena. In respect to the Fiat Palio, they have also gone as far as, but this was again the job that I have taken and it was really, really good for me. It was a really, really short employment, but it paid off really well. Um, but every, the, everyone does a little. A little and that little 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 these dots that you associate in your head if you improperly process them if you don't remember the whole thing and you don't really know what you want you are so out that 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 like you would not know like you say like this you're gone he in fact was the one who owned a Fiat and going with him, driving with him, when I mentioned him the issue of the polio, he would just, uh, he, came, he brought this subject, it was just about the buying car, stuff like this, and it was because he was like, by now you should buy the car. This was under MK Ultra, was the pressure. It was the same individual, he also had Americans. Uh, we were in his, uh, I'm not gonna say where, what location and this and that. And he brought this issue by now. It was about school, okay? It was about teaching English. By now, you should already have a car. And uh, boy, it was right when I was looking for the vehicle. I was looking for the vehicle and for the transportation, therefore. And that's exactly, they knew exactly the timing when to push certain things down the throat, certain issues. Cars and with the issues they have basically prepared. 
that was a Fiat Palio. Why not? Why not? This is a, such a great car. I said, but that's that's not appealing car. Uh, why not? Why not? That's a, such a great car. And it was it was about this stuff. And then when you think about when you remind yourself of this kind of stuff, that was another person that was talking to you about all the injustice in a parenthesis they're going to do to you. You know what they're going to do to you then what it happens is but that was exactly a husband from to be detailed about who did this it was actually a husband from my niece in slovenia who touched the palio and all that kind of a stuff that he brainwashed and that kind of stuff so they, they connected in a, such a way is this whole thing that even if you would have the scenario in hands about what will go on according to MKO3, you would know nothing really what goes on and this and that because the issue that could be triggered in some completely other part of the world by the person that knew exactly about the whole scenario and Kyotra and the people that knew about would know actually nothing about and so this is how that kind of a stuff was done and it was dangerous it was dangerous because in my head I started to associate stuff that this country wanted to offer me and the stuff that this country wanted to offer me including children which i am totally committed to uh having children i want children of my own um and i started to to see the whole thing through repulsion uh, anger that they are actually really going as far as trying to do this kind of a stuff to me but it didn't have nothing to go to do again with the Poland yet everything was again from the outside administered in a such a way that people would not even know again what's going on and that's most of this deal that went on people if I would not explain in details about how things were what this and that again people would not again know anything about what went on and everybody did just a little something and that little something ends you destroying yourself well seeing what i have just seen right now also makes me understand that a gentleman uh, a really really nice gentleman with me that insisted on my purchasing uh, fiat palio most likely would not even know what exactly was in my uh, perception about this vehicle um, these are actually really good vehicles. If I wouldn't go and see this thing again, I would just uh, keep the idea that was introduced to me through the OLX not too long ago through various uh, vehicles, just as what you have seen, as completely different, as totally unacceptable, therefore. So the people, uh, what is the... What is the lesson about this is the people that participate in MK Ultra uh, might actually even advocate something, uh, trying to help assist someone without even having the knowledge, uh, idea what kind of perception that person have uh, create him, created him or herself about a certain thing because it might have been demonstrated to him through, uh, like in this case here was definitely this is from the uh, from the i don't know what kind of angle lens this would be used to distort the you know that so the card would appear like this but that's exactly what was done and most likely it was actually even photoshopped like this so it would really look like this unfortunately i did not bother to take to take a a uh, screenshot of the vehicles that they have I the only thing what you do when you see something that you it doesn't appeal to be to you basically you just look the the opposite way but yeah and regarding the wrong intersection how I position myself on the wrong side of the intersection um it's a classic I'm not the first person who did this I remember all Americans did this <laughs> 